hello everyone in this video i'll show you uh, how to recover a windows 10 computer using a recovery file drive this is a recovery drive that i have prepared before it could be maybe around uh, two months or three months ago i made this uh, recovery drive today suddenly i noticed that my computer is not performing well you can see there are a lot of uh, there are there are no desktop icons at all because i have deleted everything because the windows was uh, booting but um, explorer was not functioning you can see if i want to uh, click here to open the windows explorer you can see the cursor here it's showing a busy sign actually it is not doing anything that means the explorer is not functioning at all you see if i uh, use the google chrome it is also not opening even the start menu is not functioning so but anyway i just uh, kept the network cable unplugged because um, i was suspecting that uh, some viruses has affected my computer and there was a risk of uh, data loss so i just uh, removed the ethernet cable but you can see still it is showing a busy sign the this is the cursor mouse cursor and nothing is opening nothing is opening even if i uh, press the windows button you can see it is not responding so uh, let me show you how to recover windows 10 pc in this situation yes uh, now i restarted the computer um, and i put the usb flash drive at this moment i'll press f12 this is the function for, for my motherboard to uh, get the uh, board screen so from here you can see i have three hard uh, two hard drive this is ssd and this is a 500 gb hard drive and this is the usb flash drive so uh, i'll boot from this flash drive it's going to take a couple of minutes So this is the screen after booting the computer from the recovered drive. So um, you can select the uh, keyboard that you want to use. For me, I'll use the US keyboard. And uh, I tried all these options uh, to uh, reset the PC or recover the PC. It did not work using the troubleshoot or um, other way. So if you go to troubleshoot, you'll, you'll find some option to start prepare, it failed. Uh, confirmed uh, i could not use this option to recover the pc i tried to uninstall the updates it did not do it failed uh, system restore also failed i did one system restore but it did not work and i did not um, back up a system image so i have the only option to recover a um, the windows from a drive so click here it will give you two options um, I guys I, I did before I did the recovery before using these two options but I forgot exactly uh, but uh, as far as I know if you do a full clean drive this option will help you to completely format your hard drive and most probably it will uh, destroy all your uh, partitions and this option is suitable if you are not keeping the computer for example you want to um, recycle the PC or you would like to sell the pc to someone else so the data will not be uh, recoverable again but uh, the first option just remove my files i hope this option will keep my uh, partitions uh, in the hard drive so let us start with this now uh, it, it is just uh, it is just giving a heads up about what are the things that are going to happen um, it did not mention I heard that it is going to uh, delete all the partition or something but it says if, if you have repartitioned uh, your system drive this will restore the default partitions so I think mostly it is talking about the C drive but uh, I have another partitions like D drive where I uh, kept my my data saved uh, however I have uh, transferred all my data to another hard drive also I just copied and uh, still that D drive is existing so let us uh, start recovering from here uh, 
uh, recovering the PC 1%, it is going to take a while. So I'll come back when it is uh, almost uh, near the end. As you can see, this is 99% and restarting. So once it will restart, it will restart with the hard drive because uh, uh, I just removed the flash drive, uh, the recovery flash drive. So let us see what happens. Now it is installing Windows. Again, restart or no? Just blinking. Okay. So again, I'll uh, wait until it is uh, near the end of the installation. You can see the installation is just completed. Oh, my vision. Okay. I have to select. Now first you select the region, uh, I'm in Canada so I'm selecting Canada, you can choose uh, your own region, click yes and it will ask about the keyboard, that's fine, I don't want the other keyboard, only US keyboard is fine for me, Press yes, so it, it says you do not have internet, um, well um, I'll say I don't have internet because I removed the Ethernet cable. I'll uh, come back to uh, after connecting the Ethernet cable. So uh, continue with limited setup and accept the agreement. Who is going to use this PC? I'm not going to put any password at this moment. I'll put a password later. Well, um, use online speech recognition. Use uh, okay. This is for Cortana. I'm not going to. Okay, let me do it. But I think it will not do because of the Ethernet cable is plugged off. Mm -hmm. Location, no problem. Find my device. Yes, no problem. Do I have no other mobile Microsoft devices? Send record and optional language. I don't do that. This is a troublesome thing. So only um, genuine record that information I would like to send. No, I don't want to offer them to watch my uh, key press events. Accept. I don't want to do that. Yes. Mm. Okay. So guys, what happened? Uh, definitely this is complete a fresh installation of Windows. Uh, do not expect that you are going to have all your previous apps. All your previous apps will go. So you have no way to bring them back uh, until you have a license key. Uh, so if you have a license key, you can try uh, entering the license key and uh, reinstall your apps. But um, sometimes uh, some app does not support a second time installation. Uh, remember that before doing anything. Almost there. And here you go. So we got our fresh installation of Windows. Now the settings now. I have no internet connection. First of all, let me check if my uh, hard drive partitions are still there. That is the most important thing for me now. Oh, oh, oh. It looks like the partition has gone. Guys, I'm extremely sorry. You can see uh, this was my actual 500 GB SSD and it is completely gone. So that means if you do a recovery, it destroys all your partition. At first I thought it will not uh, destroy your partition so you can see here some other partitions these uh, are uh, my um, you know usb hard drive and second hard drive but still i'll show you by confirming here you can go to this part this partition and check i'll show you i, I had two or three drives and none of these drives are uh, existed at this moment. 
yes you can see uh, the ssd and this is uh, just a normal hard disk uh, this hard disk has two partitions it is showing here clearly and this is a usb hard drive it is two terabyte almost this very old hard drive so anyway you can see um, my c drive was only um, 150 gb but it is now 465 gb because uh, it has deleted all my partitions i was in luck because uh, i saved all my data uh, to another ssd guys thanks for watching the video please um, uh, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you so much